Yeah. Uh, uh, this thing on? jumps into it the way you know somebody would college life and uh, yeah it's not a real take on prison it's more kind of a, uh, a humorous take on it I think yeah I was wondering about the, the two girls who the, these two gentlemen pick up the two young women they get they get caught in the movie which is under 16 were they supposed to have had I, fake IDs they yeah they had fake IDs <laughs> too that's yeah what, that's what I was thinking yeah or else they would have gotten Right, that's right. right. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. what they get for messing with younger guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very pleased. Yeah, it couldn't have gone better, you know. A real good crowd and people seemed real enthused to be there. It was kind of it was made me think about a you know, a concert, you know, where people kind of make the effort to go there. It's not like kind of a Los Angeles screening where, you know, it's people that you know are friends the people that made the movie but everybody that went seemed to be you know <clears throat> at least curious to see it so yeah it was, it was, it was a good feeling how much of the cast was the, well and crew were there we were sitting next to a guy who played was in some of the prison scenes and he said his uncle was the guy bringing the people off the bus and the really big guy that you arm wrestled yeah. Uh, yeah there were there were there were there were a few cast and crew people there from Austin uh, but yeah, they were just kind of scattered through the crowd. So I guess is that, I mean, was that, a, you feel like you got a good reception from them as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fun to talk to the people that had helped, helped make it. Not just the guys that were in at the actors, but yeah, different crew people. Yeah, I was real curious to see how, <laughs> how they'd like it. You know, usually uh, uh, cast and crew screenings are the worst screenings you have because everybody's so critical of their work, so I think that uh, particularly <coughs> the, the, the cast and crew that we had there seemed to like the movie as much as they did. Uh, I was actually worried that we might have too many and it might be a little bit too uh, uh, you know, unreceptive, but uh, I was thrilled that all the people who worked so hard in this movie liked it as much as they did. Yeah. Was it a given that when you were putting together the cast that Harry Dean Stanton would serenade everybody throughout the film? Not really. That's one of those things that just, uh, I mean, I. That's how at first, uh, you know, I knew Harry Dean as an actor, and then uh, when I first got to Los Angeles, I'd go see him and his band at uh, they play this place, Jack Sugar Shack, and then the Mint, and uh, so I knew he was a good singer, and I always liked the songs he played, you know, those kind of Mexican ballads <clears throat> and stuff like Chuck Berry, just stuff I liked, but that wasn't written into the script. We just that was stuff we just kind of ended up doing on the fly. What's the song he's singing? <coughs> What's the song you're singing on the airplane? Promised Land. That's a great Chuck moment. Berry song, yeah. yeah. Chuck That's Berry good song. stuff. I noticed you had a, a German co-producer on this film. Now, I know Mr. Stan's had great experience with a German filmmaker here in Texas, but uh, was this sort of luck of the draw? Is this part of an, uh, an abiding interest in Germany and all things Texan? That's one of those guys we never really... <laughs> Matt or saw. I, I don't know. Maybe. It was a German fund, and they had responded to the script and the cast, and they wanted to come in and help finance the movie, so we took them up. It was just, yeah, just kind of a coincidence. Luke, who are the uh, who are the older guys you personally look up to, and who put party first last night? Uh, God, I don't know who did. <laughs> But, Who uh, said that we quit? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just like, yeah, I always looked up to, you know, Seymour and Harry Dean and, you know, Chris Christopherson. But, the, you know, the guys they've worked with, too, like Warren Oates, those were always kind of my my favorites. And, uh, and then, yeah, you meet them, and they're great guys. Like, to have Chris Christopherson kind of play a smaller part like that and come down here and... Uh, 
really means a lot. And, uh, you know, done so many great movies, those guys. And, uh, yeah, that was, my, that was my favorite thing about the movie, was getting to work with, you know, people like that who I'd seen their movies since I was a kid. And then to get to work with them was great.